What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the uh, Earthmaster here with an update video on this Monday evening, October or November 8th, I should say. 2021 is the date. Roughly about, uh, what do we got time-wise? 6.11 p.m. California time. Latest quake, a 3.4 earthquake up in the Alaska region. Expecting some uh, super cold temperatures coming into that area. Uh, over the next couple nights, there are uh, some negative numbers looking pretty uh, looking pretty chilly up there. But of course, that's uh, expected for this time of the year around the Alaska region. Let's go ahead and check out activity around the globe. On the latest USGS map here, well, we'll start off with Yellowstone. We can do that uh, real quick. Not a whole lot going on at Yellowstone. We'll go ahead and put that out on the table. No microquakes, uh, really no serious activity at all to talk about at Yellowstone National Park. Looking absolutely uh, quiet for the moment. We did see some activity ramping up along the Pacific Northwest, up in the volcanoes in the Washington region, especially around the uh, Mount St. Helens area. You can see quite a bit of microquake activity ramping up in this region. Um, mostly all microquake activity, nothing uh, of significance at the moment, but uh, nonetheless, some pretty shallow microquakes kicking up around the Mount St. Helens area. Let's see what we've we got here. Just a few, well, it looks like a few right around the summit area. A couple on the uh, southern flank, northern flank as well. Kind of uh, kind of migrating, if you will, away from the summit area. But uh, nonetheless, some, some activity, right? A little uptick activity in the volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. Also Mount Rainier showing some earthquake activity. Around the summit area, this one here, a 0.1 at 1.9 kilometers below surface, right smack dab in the crater area, the summit area, and up here around the uh, Seattle area, northeast of Seattle, some microquakes uh, stretching out across that region of the state as well. Uh, movement throughout Idaho, uh, looking uh, kind of uplifted on the Sawtooth Fault area and also down into northern California. Couple small earthquakes kicking up uh, right outside the uh, Cascadia subduction zone on the uh, well, the uh, Pacific Plate boundary, 2.8, 22 kilometers, and a little earthquake inland, a 2.2 near Hay Fork. This one pretty shallow at 4.5 kilometers. Looking at some activity stretching out through Nevada, we're seeing a major increase in earthquake activity on the western uh, part of Nevada. Of course, the eastern Sierra Nevadas here has been pretty active over the past few months. We're starting to see that uh, migration of activity really ramp up around the Tonopah area and areas north and also south around the uh, state line, the California-Nevada state line. Some activity earlier today uh, kind of kicking up out in the desert around uh, the uh, Nevada area. Quite a few twos kicking up. There's all that movement up here north of the Tonopah area, northwest of Tonopah area where we had a, a little bit larger size earthquake from the microquakes at 3.2 at 8.3 kilometers well west of the Candelaria Hills uh, a little bit of movement out there on this sought on this uh, fault system I can't remember the name of it exactly uh, let's see what we got here I'm not for sure where it went to unnamed faults near the Candelaria Hills okay that's kind of what they're claiming right there uh, also some movement around the Texas area Pecos Texas areas around Oklahoma and Kansas and some continued activity around the New Madrid area with 2.3 and a 2.0 within that vicinity of that fault system out there. Uh, looking elsewhere around the Pacific, some movement around Tokyo and areas south including this deep earthquake near the uh, uh, south of Japan area, 4.1 into the Philippine Trench. Check out the depth of this earthquake here, 499 kilom kilometers for the uh, depth of that earthquake. Unbelievable. Some deep movement there. Also a cluster of activity south of the Philippines into the Indonesia area, where we're seeing continued deep earthquake activity as well. Fiji uh, area is kind of quiet today, except for this 4.5 uh, struck at 342 kilometers around the Tonga Trench. Areas around South America getting in on some deep earthquake activity, including a 4.2 around the Chile area, and also a little uh, earthquake right smack dab on the Peru-Chile Trench. This area right here, very capable of producing some significant size earthquakes, but today 
only a 4.6 at the 10 uh, kilometer depth inland down dip downstream here a couple deeper earthquakes kicking off into that region of south america hawaii some activity to talk about but uh, overall most of the southeast flank or the southeast area uh, looking average but we are seeing an increase in movement around the kilauea volcano and areas to the north and east kind of keep an eye on that we're see as we're seeing some deeper activity ramping up on the big island over the last 24 hours uh, looking at the trimmer map here we'll go ahead and kick this up here and it looks like uh let's see if i can refresh this it says kind of waiting is that correct two days of no activity uh, it's yesterday and today zero epicenters folks not for sure what's going on maybe just a little quiet spell after uh uh, a month or so of some uh, rather interesting uptick and in trimmer uh, had pretty much a uh, I shouldn't say record-breaking but uh, definitely a large number of trimmer activity uh, that was picked up in October and it uh, looks like we're kind of coming into a quiet spell for now in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone trimmer activity a little bit of movement also over here around the uh, Turkey area where we had a 5.1 shaking things up out there a little bit activity along the uh what do we got here out let me look here over here towards the western part of the indonesia area pretty quiet for the moment we did see some activity up here around the china region uh, or india i should say well up into the india region with a 4.5 but uh, area south and around the china area relatively quiet for the most part all right, folks, going to jump off here. Um, hope everyone has a good day. Going to try to get back into uh, viewer photo ops here. I know there's quite a few that hasn't got shown yet. Going to go through there. Just been kind of swamped. A whole lot of uh, events and whatnot taking place here in the uh, on the home front. But uh, it's all good. It's all positive vibes. And uh, But I, I'd kind of like to get back into uh, doing the photo ops here uh, as a viewer appreciation type deal. So uh, on that note, if you do want to uh, get your photos up here on an update video, send them to earthmastermail at gmail.com. And if you've already sent some in and you haven't seen them yet, uh, don't worry, I will get to them. Uh, and if you want to send me some new ones, go ahead and do that as well. And uh, we'll definitely try to get those on there. But uh, like I said, gonna going to try to include those on the update videos um, starting tomorrow. So earthmastermail at gmail.com uh, include the photo location what we're looking at um, maybe the date that it was taken and of course your name um, and uh, that way we can use it here on the uh, earth master update uh, nightly all right guys have a good night stay safe out there we will chat you guys a little bit later peace out